here's the deal. We're redoing our floors upstairs and where my little office is at, I can't walk on. So I don't really have good light, but I'm gonna to try to do the best I can so we can get our question and answer started. That's a little bit better. Well, I think it is. All right, let's get straight into this. Hey, Seth, I got a question for you. Who's your funniest teammate? Hey, what's up, Jackson? Uh, who's my funniest teammate? So I, honestly, dude, I couldn't even just choose one. Like, they're all hilarious. Like, I, I couldn't choose one teammate, especially the guys from down south. They're hilarious. Hey, said I was just wondering how the offseason's going and what you got planned for the upcoming month. My man, Carter, bro. What's good, Carter? The offseason's going great. I've been working every day. It's hard to vlog about that because I'm so zoned in and focused on, um, you know, just working. In the future, I plan on filming a lot more of that stuff and sharing it with you guys. I have a lot of things planned for these next few months. I actually have a surprise next week. It's a surprise, and I can't tell you guys yet. Said in Charlotte, Brittany! Congratulations on all the subs. And shout out to you for watching my videos. That's definitely really cool. Okay, so my question for you is, do your teammates or other NFL friends know that you do vlogging and what do they think about it? Uh, I actually started vlogging at the end of the season, so I didn't really have many teammates who knew about it. The few who did thought it was cool. A lot of my teammates obviously like follow me on Instagram and stuff and they all send me encouraging texts and say, uh, you know, keep doing what I'm doing. And a lot of them like it, so. I know it's cool to have some support from your teammates and yeah. Do your teammates like that you vlog? Hey, Brittany at Hooper too. Make sure you go check out her uh, her channel. I'm gonna post it at the end of the video. She'll be out there, you know what I'm saying, dribbling, doing her thing. Make sure y'all go check out Brittany's page, channel. Good morning said, uh, Lou! wondering what got you into vlogging? Oh man, what got me into vlogging? Well, I've always loved video. Like, I've always loved making videos ever since I was a kid, but I didn't really have time to do it because all I did was play football. And I was like, man, it's something I want to try. You know, I'm just working that every day. I couldn't get a job or anything because if somebody was to call me, I had to get up and just leave the job. I didn't want to commit to working for someone and have to leave. So I picked up a camera that we had laying around and I realized how much I really did love vlogging and creating, creating videos and telling stories, you know, ultimately to help other people. So, um, yeah, that's kind of how I got into vlogging. Hi Cedric, I'm Daisy and I would like to know what you're most looking forward to about parenthood. I think what I'm looking most forward to in parenthood is um, just being able to see my first child just develop and grow, uh, whether it's a boy or a girl, obviously I don't know right now, but to see it from crawling to walking and I don't know, just to see that whole process of it growing from such a small little baby to just being able to become a man or a woman. Hi, I started playing rugby recently and all these videos you post about God and your workouts have been motivating me to become a better player and I really appreciate your channel. Can you give me any inspiration for playing a new sport and how can I get better? Like how do you get better at football? I'm a huge fan by the way. Thank you so much for being a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of you too for being here and watching. Um, I never played another sport. I wrestled when I was in high school my freshman year and I enjoyed that. I just feel like if you want to play another sport, then you should just go for it and just put everything you have into it. I think you shouldn't overthink too much of trying something new. I think trying something new is great. It's just when you go in, know there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve and a struggle in the beginning, but eventually you'll pick it up like anything else and just give it all that you have. I mean, that's all you really can do. The way that I get better at football is ultimately just working hard every day. You have to per perfect your craft and that's going out there repetitively doing drills and like footwork and reading and uh, watching film repetitively because it's all about being, uh, being a step ahead of your opponent's memory. It's all different kind of things, but you just have to continuously just keep grinding and mastering your craft. What's some other vloggers you like to watch? Other vloggers that I like to watch. I love to watch Casey Neistat. I like watching Ben Brown. He's a vlogger from South Africa. He has some really cool videos. Uh, and obviously I love watching Tyler's videos. I like watching him and Haley do their thing. Like I said earlier, I like watching Britney's vlogs. Britney, Britney's vlogs are dope. It's from a basketball player's perspective, which I think is super cool. So once again, subscribe to Britney's channel.
Hi Cedric, it's Samantha from South Central Los Angeles. I'm watching South the vlog Central. right now. Congratulations to you and Charlotte. And my question is... Wait, where did the question go? Oh, it was on the video. Advice for a Christ-centered relationship and how to know when someone is finding the one. Congrats and many blessings to you, Charlotte, in your future. Um, I think when it comes to finding the one, it's not so much of finding it. I think God's gonna bring the perfect person for you whenever he thinks you're ready. Um, when I met Charlotte, you know, we were young. You know, we were just, I don't know, we were just so young and we never know what we eventually get to this point. Um, now that I look at Charlotte and I told her in our vows that on that day I knew that God brought her to me because of all the things that we've been through and how we shaped each other. God brought her to me. So I didn't, I don't think it's necessarily finding, going out finding the one. I think God will bring that one to you and um, just to stay faithful in him and his word and he will bless you with many different things and one of those things could be a relationship. Uh, if you keep God first, he'll, he'll bring that blessing to you. Okay, my man Johnny says, have you ever considered or thinking about making a short film or documentary? I have thought about making a short film in the vlog, Not Your Average Beach. I'm gonna go back and make a short film about how I lived in Bombay Beach and all the things I overcame when I lived there. And actually I was in a documentary called Bombay Beach. It was award winning. It won the Tribeca Film Festival and a few other um, awards internationally. I'll put those links in the description so you can check them out. Um, but yeah, I am gonna make a short film one of these days. You plan to do videos after the baby is born? That's actually a very hard question because I don't know what it's gonna be like to have a baby. And when the baby is born, I'm actually gonna be in training camp, so I won't be able to make videos at all. But what I will do is have Charlotte make videos so she can keep y'all updated. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me what camera do I use. I use a Sony RX100 Mark V. It doesn't have an audio jack, so what I do is I made my own little rig to be able to get better audio, which I'm not even using right now. Well, maybe I'll make a vlog about the audio rig that I um, put together. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Oh, and, a lot of, and also a lot of people have been asking about Charlotte starting a mommy vlog, is what <laughs> people are calling it. And, um... I don't know, I'm gonna to talk to her about that to see if she's up for that because she loves, you know, talking to you guys and giving you guys updates instead of it coming from me all the time. What's up, Cedric? So, my question is, what kind of advice would you give to younger people that are looking to explore their faith and learn more about it? Monica, that is a great question. I think the biggest thing that you can do is to just join some kind of youth group or find a church that has a youth group and they'll teach you all about God's word and how you can apply it to your life. And ultimately, if you can apply God's words to your life, he'll show you the ways that he will work for you um, in your life and, and bring blessings to you. My name is Lashanti, and I was wondering if you Lashanti. guys were going to do a baby gender reveal because of the fact that you guys surprised the family with the pregnancy. Are we doing a gender reveal? No, we're not doing a gender reveal. I do not want to do a gender reveal. <laughs> yes, but we are doing a gender reveal. My next appointment is our 20-week ultrasound. So, we're gonna find out. No, we're not doing a gender reveal. Yes, we are. It's more exciting if you just wait till you have the baby and then you find out what it is. I don't believe in that. It's gonna be a surprise either at 20 weeks or at 40 weeks. That's not true. Yes, it is. We don't know what the baby's gender is, so it will be a surprise. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't change anything. I mean, like, we're gonna love the baby whether it's a boy or it's a girl. No. Yes. We're not doing a gender reveal. But I want to, you know, start to plan and reveal. get stuff we're not doing a gender reveal. organized we're not doing and a gender purchased. Reveal. We're not doing a gender reveal. And we're not doing we're a gender We're going to do a gender no, reveal. No. Stay tuned. We didn't get that puppy. Listen, we didn't get the puppy. Okay, we're not talking Cedric about puppy. Cedric said anymore. I could get the puppy. He was just being a butt faced about it, so I was like. And that doesn't even make sense. Because... Okay, what do you guys think? Do you guys think we should find out? No, we're not having a gender reveal. We're not doing that. No, it doesn't make sense to have a gender reveal. Why? How does it not make sense? Because it's better if you just wait. Matter of fact- No, that's your own personal opinion. What do you Let's guys think? Let's just ask them. What's the next question? Hi, my name is Donna and I'm from Virginia. I just wanted to know how did you and Charlotte meet? How did we meet? That's a great question. So, we met Cedric's freshman year. I was a sophomore. I'm six months older than Cedric. I know. My friend was dating one of his teammates 
and his teammate was having people over. Me and my friends went over to Brock's apartment, shout out Brock Green. And I had recently broken up with my high school boyfriend and my best friend Grace was like, here, I know how to make you happy, get you over the hump, like you don't have to do anything serious, but like, let's play a game. She was like, let's play, hey, have you met my friend Charlotte? And I said, all right, like I can talk to anybody all day if they let me. So, She's like, okay, who do you want to talk to? And I looked around the room, scoped it out, and I said, him. And that was Cedric. Okay, I got it from here. And then when she said, hey, here you meet my friend Charlotte, I was like, no, I'm, I've never seen this girl before in my life. I said, hey, come over here, let's go talk, let's go swim on the couch, whatever. So you know what I'm saying? I grab, I grab, wait, I'm not done yet, hold on, bro. I grabbed her hand, I said, hey, come over here for now. I'll say it, I sat her on my lap. I said, hey, I sat her on my lap, I'm Cedric. Name. He's a, <laughs> he is a little boy. Yeah, sure. He thought he had a game. Set her my lap. And as I'm talking, they're like, we know what Listen, I like, had games Wait, too. man. We, 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 uh, we talked, and I'm like, you know what I'm saying? You know, her, my name's Charlotte. Like, her face is getting closer and closer and closer. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Did not move back. Listen. Girl, I ain't trying to kiss you right now. I, wasn't trying I don't to even kiss like, him know either. you like that right it now. It was a loud party. I just couldn't hear him. So I had to get a little closer. No, he was she super was quiet. right here, bro. Right no, here. he was super quiet. Right there. Like, whispering. Right there. <laughs> Cedric said, used to on. not talk. I said, okay, hold on, bro. Believe it or not, what you doing? Cedric used to be a very quiet person. He never talked. He was just a quiet little boy and he was talking to me. I couldn't hear him So I was just trying to get closer. I mean he sat me on his lap, right? You're trying like, to kiss me though. Like, I was gonna try to kiss you. Cedric, please He thought he was real slick. So after the party, he's like, oh put your number in my phone, whatever I was like, okay, cool. I'm going home. All of a sudden I walk out. I get a text like hey Where are you? I was at McDonald's, you know, getting french fries. And he was like, where are you? Come to Qdoba. So I go to Qdoba. He kissed me first. That's okay though, it's okay that you kissed me. Look. She wrote your mind. Now we're married. Unfortunately. <laughs> That's so rude. Well, that is the end until my question and answer video. Featuring me. I see all your comments. I appreciate each and every one of them. Shout out to you guys, all the ones that shout me out. Well, anyways, that's the ending to our my first question and Til answer. Till next Charlie, time. Stop.